Today I'm showing you the brand new Claymore Miner for Ethereum called V10.0. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. So today I'm going to show you how to use the new Claymore Miner V10.0 for mining Ethereum. You can also mine Ethereum Classic with it, but I'm going to make another video about it to do that one. So first of all, if you know that we have a new website already, you can use that link in the description. But otherwise, if it's still not online, you can use the links in the description below. It's just exactly the same. But I'm just showing you this for the people that already see the new website. So here you go. You can go down and you will see that the Claymore Miner V10.0 has some changes. I will always list them on the website to show you what new changes are. And there is one really weird new change. So there's a 1% Ethereum speed up for Vega cards. So Vega cards are 1% more effective right now. So yeah, that's pretty good. But of course, you can always download the original uh, miners from Claymore itself that will always be on that link from Claymore itself. But today we're going to be using the pre-made Claymore miner V10.0 for Windows. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is download the pre-made Claymore Miner for Windows. You can just click the link and you'll be redirected to Mega NZ and you can start the download. So today we're going to change a few things inside this miner so you are mining for your own. Because if you are starting this miner straight away, you're going to be mining for me. So what you have to do first is drag the files to your desktop, for example, just to make it easy and then close it up. Now you will have your minor files, let's say, inside a map. You can open the map and you will see a lot of files inside there. But today we're just going to change the regular start miner 4 to 8 gigabyte Ethereum. So you're just going to mine Ethereum only today. And you, what you have to do is just right click it and go to edit. As soon as you open it up, it, it could be a risk because it's a batch file that's what your PC will be asking, you need to change a few things. First of all, your server, second of all, your wallet address, and third of all, your miner name. So first of all, you will have a few addresses, uh, I mean servers, like US1, EU1, and Asia1. So we're living in Europe, so we're gonna be using EU1 today, and you can always find the rest of them on ethermine.org. Next up, you will need to change your wallet address to your address because otherwise you're mining for me, as I said before in the video. So I'm using freewallet.org as wallets on my phone because they're the most easy to use and you can just use Facebook and whatsoever to log in. Even if you lose your wallet and you just log in back with Facebook on a different phone, you will still have your wallet. So next up we will need to change our miner name. So today it's going to be called your miner, but we can change it to something we want like a test miner of course. And then what we need to do is just save our file and we are already done. So what you're going to do now is just double click the bat file and it will start running the miner. So as you can see it will start uh, computing your, it will start up your GPUs and it will put in the deck and it will ask you for permission for the firewall of course you just allow the access and it will start mining straight away after it loaded the deck so now it's gonna start mining and I'm gonna let it go for a few minutes to show you guys that our test miner is on our progress because I'm gonna show you how to check your progress on ethereum mining okay so as you can see we are still mining ethereum and we got some shares so what we're going to do now, we're going to check up how our mining rig is doing. So we're going to right, right click our start miner again and we're going to copy our address real quickly. And then after we copied our address, we can just close it up and we can go to ethermine.org. And on ethermine.org, you can check your status if you go to the right top corner and fill in your Ethereum address you will see your mining hash rate. So as you can see, we have five active workers right now and one of them is test miner. So test miner is over here, he is online and his reported hash rate is 50 mega ashes per second and 7.8 mega ashes per second is his current hash rate. Because it's gonna go, yeah, it's gonna increase over time because 
it, it just needs to know how many shares it's doing after a few hours because your reported hash rate can be way higher than your real hash rate should be if you are reporting the wrong hash rate. So that's what this is all about. And my unpaid balance is actually the amount that will be paid when I reach a number of Ethereum. So for example, I set it to 0.1 Ethereum and you could also set it to 1 Ethereum or even 10 Ethereum. So that's all up to you and you can do that in the settings tab. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.